guys. There was a couple of things that came out today, and I think they're worth going into, and it's these two tweets here, and they kind of tie into each other. Uh, the U.S. has reissued a statement again today saying if there's any chemical, chemical attack in Syria, they're going to respond, and we know that this is kind of a war rhetoric building in Syria. But on there's another thing to suggest uh, that there's, you know, they carry on with the peace rhetoric also, and South Korea and North Korea are going to hold an, a Korean summit between the 18th and 20th of September. And I'm thinking this is probably an end of war declaration summit. And this really goes back to this, and a lot of people know this, Thessalonians 5.3, even people that don't read the Bible know about this, because it's kind of thrown around, and that's it, when peace and safety, sudden destruction will come, so now, so you've got the satisfying of the peace and safety, the end of the Korean War, and then you've got this kind of possible sudden destruction, right? This is very capable of causing a very large scale sudden destruction, and then this is the ultimate peace and safety. So that's a, a fulfilling of that perfectly. You won't get better. And what is really interesting is the date as well. You know the classic and infamous 923. And I really don't want to go into dates, but I can't help but think, man. They say sudden destruction will come after peace and safety. And if I'm right about them declaring the end to the Korean War, and sudden destruction comes after it, well, this is going to be five to three days after, so it will be sudden destruction. So, so this is a theory. It's worth having. It's worth sharing. Let's see. But I'll be watching. Thanks.